on guys, this is Connor. Welcome back to the channel. Today, um, if you saw the last video on Tuesday, it's kind of like a piggyback off that. We're going to try to get these bags installed, and I think I got a redneck way to do it. Um, it's going to be all by myself, so I'm kind of trying to be safe about it and still get it done. But either way, I got a couple things to do real quick. Gas, propane gas for this trailer is the most annoying thing. It's like, all of a sudden, I won't have any, but the, but the mixer will say it's full. So I'm like, what? Why, why would it say it's full? Anyways, these gas cylinders filled. All right, let's get to the store. Made it to Home Depot. Already paid. So... We need to go get our cylinders and we'll be good to go. I saw this one little thing right here, this Amerigas. I'm like, what the heck? There's no code on that. But she was talking about this long line of them down here. It's like 50 of them. And I'm gonna just park up front because I'm a badass. been to one of those and it shows because that was a pretty decent process um now we go back to the house see y'all there tight This piece of junk. Good to go. Turn this off. Dang, now it's over 70 degrees in here because can't do nothing right. Well, hope I got all my settings back right. I know in the last video I was kind of nervous that it would be too bright or whatever. I just inhaled a bunch of gas, so. Figured out. Oh, here we go. Well, perfect. So it should be working. Um, I just think it's hotter than 70 degrees in here. So it's not going to turn on now. But now that we got our gas fixed, um, I need to find a way to jack up one side of my car and then let the other side droop so I don't know if the best way would be to back over something really tall or it's kind of what I'm thinking but hear me out so this thing basically just needs to plumb up through the spring and I, I think I can get it small enough where it can do that but I want to see how much line I have right quick and make sure that I can feed it through without having any problems. I think it's just one line too, so like, do I cut it in half, or am I missing something in the box? You know what I'm saying? All right, now that I got some good work clothes on, I'm gonna try to stick these bags in, and I guess I need to um, cut the bump stops as well. I just wanted to film a little bit in here because it's like super windy outside and then we'll move on to that part. But for now, I need to find me a, basically like a drywall cutting tool, and I will show you all the tools that I plan to use. First things first, drill with a 3 8 bit, and a little drywall knife. 
and then the kit of course. Before we get started, this is probably about what it would look like. This is unloaded with no spare, about what I expected the level to look like to begin with. Just a little far up in my opinion in the back. Now it's like this is fine, so maybe once we get this done we can air it up, put about 10% or 10 PSI and be done done. So right now, I got that side jacked up. So this side, if y'all can see that, if y'all can see that, I need to cut the bump stop right here. Probably one, two, shit, I can only get to three pieces. One, two, three. So that's gonna be a problem. They say you need to take off at least four. Let's get to cutting. I think I'm gonna have to find a different place to do this. The bump stops are a pain to cut. And I'm, I already broke my kitchen scissors right there. And my, not, my knife is just weak. So we might have to find somewhere else to do this if I can't reach it from here. Which, not looking promising. Bear with me. All right, so I was pretty distraught when I stopped um, a little earlier. But I thought there's got to be a way to cut this without just like sawing with this drywall knife. So what did I find, you ask? Yeah, I think that'll do it. 